Do some women feel like they need a man? Mm hmm To protect them and stuff like that? Mm-mm. Do some women compromise um respect and love just for protection? Compromise? But are you willing to compromise within a relationship? To compromise? What is compromising? Compromising for what? Compromising for what reason? To compromise? For what? To compromise. What is compromise? If a man came into your life, wouldn't you want to compromise? <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> Body twins, body 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 twins, body twins, body twins, body 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 twins, body twins, body twins, body 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 twins, body twins, body twins, body 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 twins. What's up, Betty Army? Welcome to another Mook Bang! Happy Friday, guys! Just got paid Friday night. Party's bumping, feelings right. My booty chicken jumping, on only fans. <laughs> <laughs> guys, it's Friday, TGIF. Hope you guys are having an amazing day. It is the weekend. Girl, it's the end of another week. Listen, this week done flew by, run past like. You saying boat in a 100 meter race, girl? Honey, I don't know where time is going, but it's not waiting for nobody. No ma'am. No ma'am. No ma'am. Yes ma'am. Um, We have the coldest water bottle in the building. Make sure you click the link in our description to get your very own. And use our code DEHYDRATED to get 10% off your entire order. I repeat. I repeat. Use our code DEHYDRATED to get 10% off your entire order. Period. Yes ma'am. Yes ma'am. And guys, today we are having, we are having mm -hmm. some barbecue wings, okay? And this is not no ordinary barbecue wings because I use unsweetened barbecue sauce and I also use unsweet, unsweetened um, ketchup. So girl, I don't know what she's gonna give because I've never tried that keto barbecue sauce before. But what I realized mm. is when I put it in the oven, it dried out. Normally it don't dry out when you yeah. put a sauce on it. So I had to make some, some extra sauce on the stove top and then I shake up the sauce. I spread the sauce over it and shake it up in a container. And I noticed that the sauce smelled different too. Girl, we gonna see what she's giving girl. Anyways, let's say our grains. God is good, God is great. Let us thank him for these chicken wings. Amen. Amen. And listen guys, grab a snack and come on back girl. Come right back. You already know. You already know. <laughs> girl, we have some vanilla chai tea to get into today, honey, baby, honey, mommy, padre, madre. Let me drink some water first, girl, because oh, man. her throat is dry, honey. Um, mm. y'all was living for yesterday's prank, weren't y'all? Y'all was living for the prank yesterday, girl. Yes, ma'am. Ooh, girl, they're so tender. Ooh, how you doing? Girl, they're so tender. When I was shaking it, look, when I was shaking it up in the thing, they broke apart, kind of. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Ah! Oh, this sauce on there is robust and musty, girl. Mmm. Wait a minute. Oh, not bad. But She's not bad, but she is not my honey barbecue wings. No ma'am. No ma'am. No ma'am. No ma'am. Uh-uh. Mm. 
I need to research and say they have um sugar free honey, like keto honey. Cause I need when the honey is in the chicken, it just tastes so good. They don't have sugar free honey. Mm mm. They have um. Mm. They have agave and they have a name of something else, another name. It's still good, but it's a different kind of barbecue. Yeah. The barbecue is a different taste. It's not sweet. Yeah, it's like it's have a barbecue with kind of smoky taste, but there's no sweetness to it. Mm -mm. Oh, because there's no sugar. Duh. Duh. <laughs> But listen, it's still good. Actually, there is a slight sweetness, but it's just, um, it's also kind of tangy. Mm-hmm. That's what it is, it's tangy. I wonder if that's a, um, it seems like that's a common ingredient in, in, in the keto products, like the ones that don't have sugar in there have a girl, tangy. Girl, why you spitting on me? I did not spit on you, girl. Go way over Look there. Look <laughs> at the freckles right there. My skin burning, girl. I can't see. I'm blind. My skin burning. Mm mm. Mm. It's good though. Mm hmm. It's good, guys. Mm. What are you guys eating today? Mm. Listen. Now, when you eating your wings and things, girl, you not eating the tip. This is the wing part, girl. Mm mm. You is wasting food. Yes, ma'am. Right. And listen guys, if if I'm smacking or whatever, or if we're smacking, girl, we can't help it, okay? We are eating. This is the mukbang. Ain't no way you will come to a mukbang and you're not gonna hear some kind of smacking, some burping, some something, girl. Okay? Truly, honestly. This is what it is. Okay, so the PBO for the day goes a little something like this. Uh, and it goes a little something like, uh. Mm. 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 Remember that you're in charge of your life. You can do anything that you set your mind to. Get into the right frame of mind, set some goals, and attack the week. Ooh. Be proactive Ooh. and take charge, and remember that you are awesome. Ooh. Message. Message, girl. Message. Girl, at the end of the day, you are who you are. It don't matter what the naysayers say, girl. You is you, and you gonna do what you gotta do. Period. Yes, ma'am. Period. Ooh, girl. So the sauce is smoky. It's all right. It's barely sweet. Mm-hmm. Girl, if it was my honey barbecue wings, they would be slapping right now, girl. Ooh. It's more tangy than It's more tangy, yeah. But she's doable, honey, you know? She still tastes good. She's tenderoni, girl. Look at it. Would well, the meat just keep falling? You would have thought I put them in a hot pot, girl. You can catch me at the hot spot. Hot spot. <laughs> Ew. Ooh. So I don't heard that my girl, my boogie down girl from the Bronx, girl Foxy Brown, boogie down Bronx, is back in the scene, girl. You cannot be for real. Oh my God, you for real? No, you for fake. No, you for real. She's on Nas' new album, and she sound really good. She's on Nas' new album, girl, and the girls are saying she is rapping down, honey. You didn't hear the song? No. <laughs> she sound good. She sound like the old time Foxy Brown. Mm -hmm. Okay, come through, come come through. When she had um, oh, what the day when the tables were turned? What that day when the tables were turned? Yo, throw your sh, wild the f out. Go on with the kiki, bust the screech you now. Nasty picked up, hey, nasty picked up. Listen, Foxy Brown back in the day, girl. With her big hair. Girl. Foxy is the ish girl. Mm -mm. What big hair? 
She always has a big black um curly um Malaysian girl, silky and wet, you know. Mmm. Mmm. Look how she ate that. Mmm. 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 As y'all know. Mmm. Foxy has a hearing disorder where she went deaf at one point. And now she wears hearing aids. She went deaf a few times. Now, I thought that Foxy comeback, I thought Foxy was gonna get a big comeback when, when, I, when I first heard that she did a collab with Nicki Minaj. But that song that they collabed on was so whack. Mm -hmm, I didn't like it either. The song was so whack and Foxy didn't get to spit like how she spit it. I was so upset, I was like, Nicki Minaj, really? Out of all the songs, that's the song you choose to put for um, Foxy on. It's like Nicki Minaj kind of spied for the kind of not like. Like, why would you not want a, the song to be like a big hit? What's the song called, Coco Chanel? Mmm. First of all, Nicki wasn't even spitting good on the song. Foxy Brown um, verse was even worse. Listen. Mm mm. Mmm. I can't. Well, hopefully this is a comeback for her. Mm. Well, speaking of female rappers, Megan Thee Stallion finally broke her silence. Girl. Mm. Mm. Girl, get out of my head. So y'all already know that Megan Thee Stallion got shot in her two feet, okay? Over a month ago, I would say. It was in, um, but she didn't, July, yeah. she didn't really give any details of what happened and who did it. Mm -hmm. Well, yesterday, child, she went on her live and she spilled all the beans. If I can find the video, the video's still up, I will um, insert the video right here so you guys can see. Like, I'm so over this shit. And y'all gotta know, I am the the nicest, the most calm, just, just cool ass woman. Like, I don't be fucking with nobody. I don't do nothing to nobody. But y'all motherfuckers, <laughs> really dragging it like i tried to just be cool stay out the way because at the end of the day i'm really a real bitch like i'm from houston i'm from the motherfucking south side it ain't like a oh let me go run and tell my business to the motherfucking internet let me go run and tell my business to the police like you know what i'm saying i ain't never been that type of person like but i'm not gonna let y'all keep playing in my face and i'm not gonna let this nigga keep playing in my face either so since y'all hoes so worry about it, yes, this nigga Tory shot me. You shot me. And you got your publicists and your people going to these blogs lying and shit. Stop lying. Why lie? I don't understand. I tried to keep the situation off the internet but you dragging it you really fucking dragging it motherfuckers talking about i hit this nigga i never hit you motherfuckers was like oh she mad because he was trying to fuck with kylie no i wasn't like you dry shot me like everybody in the car it's only four motherfuckers in the car me you, my homegirl, and your security. Everybody in the car arguing. I'm in the front seat. This nigga in the back seat. I get out the car. I'm done arguing. I don't want to argue no more. I get out. I'm walking away. This nigga from out the back seat of the car starts shooting me. You shot me. 
I ain't get cut by no glass, but let me tell you why they saying that. When the, when the police, because the people in the neighborhood, there's a witness. When the police came, because the, the neighbors called the police, this did not happen at Kylie House. This happened damn near back at the house I was staying at. I was just trying to get home. We was five minutes away from my spot. The police come. I'm scared. All this shit going on with the police. The police is, is shooting motherfuckers for anything. The police was literally killing black people for no motherfucking reason. Soon as the police tell us all get out the motherfucking car, the police is really aggressive. You think I'm about to tell the police that we niggas, us black people, got a gun in the car? You want me to tell the laws that, that we got a gun in the car so they can shoot all of us up? Nigga, I'm scared. It's a fucking helicopter over us. It's some more shit. Why the fuck would I tell the laws somebody got a gun in this car and this nigga shot me? So I can get shot, you can get shot, she can get shot, he can get shot. I ain't tell the police what happened immediately right then because I didn't want to die. I don't want to, I don't want the police to shoot me because it's a nigga with a gun in the car. I'm leaking, I'm bleeding. Motherfucker, somebody, I'm lying, bitch. Did I pay a helicopter to come over me and, and uh, record my feet leaking blood? No. How the fuck I'm going to fake that? I didn't tell the police nothing because I didn't want us to get in no more trouble than what we was already about to get in. The fuck? I get to the motherfucking hospital, the police bitch being so rude to me. Well, what, you know, what's going on? Like, da 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 da. You're being detained, da da da. I'm, ma'am, I'm being detained, I'm leaking. But I'm still not saying what happened. Shit crazy. The motherfucking doctor, the police finally let me go. I ain't go to jail. Them three motherfuckers went to jail. I get to the, I get to the hospital, the, the, the doctors do x rays on my feet. Oh, ma'am, you got, uh, bullets in your feet, you got bully fragments in your other foot. I'm damn, I'm thinking the doctors is the police, so I'm still trying not to tell them, like, no, nah, I, I didn't know I got, sh you know what I'm saying? I'm scared, like, I've never been shot before. I don't have to lie about that. Why would I lie? You want me to be a bad person so bad, and y'all motherfuckers want to believe the lie before you believe the truth. Stop trying to come on the internet acting like a black woman, a, a grown-ass black woman, really got any reason to be lying on another grown ass black man when all the shit fucked up going on in the world right now if you really want to tell the motherfucking truth i've tried to save this nigga even though he shot me i tried to spare him and y'all motherfuckers is not sparing me that's crazy that's fucked up i go through so much shit on a daily basis anyway then i have to get on the motherfucking internet where i'm just trying to make my music do my shit pop my shit like like the bitch i always been and i i'm trying to save niggas and y'all on the internet talking about oh bitch you ain't get shot oh bitch you this oh free tour that nigga not in jail he not in jail because i didn't tell the laws what happened as soon as it happened and i should have i'm smart i didn't have to spare that nigga i don't have to spare nobody but i did and i'm done Y'all asking where, where people at? Why ain't nobody saying nothing? Ask them why they not saying nothing. I haven't talked to the same people. Y'all worry about where they at. I don't do, I don't lie. I don't lie, I don't have to lie. Ask that nigga why he not saying nothing. What the fuck he gonna get on here and say? Yeah, I shot her. Why? Tell him why you shot me. No reason. Stop fucking lying on me. Stop fucking acting like black women is the motherfucking problem. Stop acting like black women is aggressive when all they be doing is speaking the motherfucking facts and you motherfuckers can't handle it. Stop, stop spreading lies. Stop getting on the internet acting like this shit your motherfucking diary. Stop lying on people. Truth motherfucking is, bitch, you shot me. You scared to come tell everybody that you fucking shot me and you got your whole fucking team on the internet lying trying to cover your motherfucking ass. And I'm tired of it. Stop doing that shit. Stop dragging me and y'all motherfuckers don't even know what was what really motherfucking happened. Y'all niggas wasn't there. Y'all motherfuckers be so quick. Oh, but uh, bitch, you a dry snitch. Oh, da da da. Who? You niggas talk more than bitches do. You niggas gonna tell on other people quicker than a bitch will. So don't ever play in my face like 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 I'm wrong. Y'all niggas don't know no code. Y'all niggas don't know no loyalty. I don't even know where half you motherfuckers be from on the internet. Stop playing with me and don't play in my face no more. Okay? And that was that. Tori Leprechaun Lane. Okay? Shot her. 
that tree feet guy. <laughs> Now, what I didn't know is, I didn't know that there was actually four people in the car. It was her, her friend Kelsey, Tory Lanez, and his security. Right? And Megan was in the front and Tory was in the back. So the security guard was driving. Uh-huh. But I don't get that set up. Why would Tory Lanez be in the back with, with Kelsey? I don't get that set up. I don't if, know. It's, if it's Megan is Stalin that's that's in whatever with Tory Lanez, why was he in the back with her best friend and the security guard was in the front driving? Because she said Tory shot her from the back, the back seat. Girl, I don't know. So, no, she was leaving though. Yeah, she was leaving, but the, the, the shot from the back seat. So, um, so apparently there, there was all arguing. Everybody was arguing. Everybody was arguing. Megan said she was like five minutes. It wasn't at Carly's, um, Kylie's house. She said she was actually five minutes away from the house that she was actually staying, right? When it all happened. So, girl, I don't, um, oh, what's that? Oh, my nose ring be messing up. Okay, so they had the argument. Megan and Stalin decided to walk away from it. Lo and behold, she got shot. Now, okay, so I'm assuming. I'm assuming because you have a lot of males out there who who honestly can take a woman's mouth. Like when a woman start like like start give it to them and start to read them and let them know the facts and worse when they sp when they speaking all facts and truth, they can't take it. They can't take it. <laughs> facts. And that and those kind of men are not real men. If you can't take a woman talking to you and telling you the truth, what act right? But no, you want to pull a gun at a woman. You're so lame. Thanks. You are nothing but a big Punjabi. Thanks. A big P-U-S. Y'all already know what I'm talking about, girl. Whether or not you pull that gun to scare her or whatever, why was you, why did you even fire? Mm -hmm. Um, that doesn't make no sense. My man. Police the that don't make no damn sense. And then she explained that when the cops, um, somebody in the neighborhood called the cops, and when they came, she was so scared, and she didn't tell the cops anything because, and she was right. Mm. You have four black people in a car, okay? Why would she be dumb to tell him that um there's a gun? Are you dumb? And she was shot. With all that's going, she's with with all that's going on in the world. Why would you wanna? And you have a helicopter circling around top. Somebody, uh, somebody's gonna die. If everybody don't die, somebody's gonna die. So I think that was very smart of her. Uh -huh. She was thinking about everybody's life. She wasn't being selfish. Cause if she was being selfish. She could have just said, Tori didn't shot her, and he would have been locked up. Period. Simple. And I don't think the bullet, I, I feel like it's fragments of the bullet that actually hit her. Yeah, like Because if it was the actual shot, then her foot would have been more Yeah, I think up. he shot at her feet at the ground. I think, I well, think he was trying to scare her. Girl, honestly. we don't know. We don't know, because he might have been drunk or something or whatever, girl, or on something. Cause I see somebody saying that he take drugs or whatever. I don't know, girl. Either so way, we don't, we don't know the fact. Either way, either way, a normal person, you whether you're on drugs or whatever, you don't pull a gun and unless you argue with some other man or something, or you in some kind of beef, in some gang or something, you don't do that to a woman. Like, are you dumb? Mm -hmm. So the fact that that happened to her and she thinking about everybody's life, trying to protect everybody and not say anything. She said, even when the doctors. Mm -hmm. They say they find bullet fragments. She's saying she's she's not giving them no answer because she don't know if the doctors is working with the police or whatever, just to keep it under wraps. But she was still dragging her name after she's keeping it under wraps. She is trying to protect you. You shot shot her, and she is trying to protect you. But you but you have your team online spreading false rumors and giving false um, information to the the blogs and stuff like that. 
Girl. And now, since she spoke her truth, mm. I see people literally online calling her a snitch. Wow. Like this woman got shot, but she's a snitch and she kept quiet for over a month. Honestly? And now she t she's speaking her truth and she's a snitch? Honestly, this world needs a refresh. I think all social media should be deleted. Instagram, Twitter, all of that should be deleted. Everybody doesn't need a refresh because everybody and their mama got an opinion. And they're coming out of left field and they're talking all kind of nonsense. Girl, it's just ridiculous. It's just ridiculous. How is she a snitch? How is she a snitch when she's the victim? If she was a snitch, she would have been told the minute the cops came there, she would have been told. She waited a whole month and you provoked her. And that's not snitching. She's telling her truth. That's what happened. Mm -hmm. If that's not what happened. She's a victim. She's telling her truth. If that's not what happened, Tory Lanez, make a video and clarify your name. I would like to see it. I would like to see it. Girl. And this verifies that it don't matter what these celebrities do, they can do the, be the best thing in the world and somebody is gonna find some fault. They're gonna say something else. Mm. But I'm happy that she finally said something because her just leaving it like that and then people making their assumptions and people saying this and saying that, that was not right. And if the girl wanted to go to a damn strip club on a crutch, she could do whatever she wanted to do. She's grown, she's a big woman. Exactly, she, and her, she could have lost her life. She could have lost her life. And if she want to enjoy her life. Yeah, like, I don't understand. I'm just over social media. Social media getting on my goddamn nerve, girl. Truly, honestly. They getting on my nerve. Mm. Everybody feel like they can tell people what to do. That's not how it is. People have their own life. They have their own life to live. You can't tell them how to live their life. Mm. Mm. Yeah, and I feel like people be feel like, okay, I'm your fan. I support you. I buy your music. They feel like they're entitled to tell you how to live your life. Mm -mm. Mm. Girl, these wings and things, girl. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. I said these wings and things. Mm. Yeah, smell. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Did you guys watch um Marriage Boot Camp? Girl. <laughs> girl. A mess. I got a bit teary eyed when the kids were coming out. Yeah. They do that every season though. They need to. What's his name? Um, really disgust me. They need to switch it up. Is it the um boyfriend? He really needs to grow up. I can't understand why do certain women stay with certain men? If you continue to get mistreated, like why? You talking about corrupt? I'm talking about multiple of them. Corrupt, um, is a he, like why? I don't understand. Mm. Do some women feel that they need a man? Mm hmm To protect them and stuff like that? Mm-mm. Do some women compromise um respect? And love just for protection? Compromise? But are you willing to compromise within a relationship? To compromise? What is compromising? Compromising for what? Compromising for what reason? To compromise? For what? To compromise. What is compromise? If a man came into your life, wouldn't you want to compromise? Stupid. <laughs> <laughs> you 
come into my life and expect me to compromise? <laughs> Never! Are you dumb? Okay, Earth, Earth a kick girl, okay. <laughs> okay, Earth a kick girl. Mm. Girl. Listen, eating these wings remind me of the other wings that you normally make that used to slap. The honey barbecue ones. Mm -hmm. uh, girl, that's it. That's the aim I wanted for today, but girl, it didn't. Because I can't put no honey, girl, and I can't put no. Um, mm. Remember that, those other ones I used to make my, my, my own barbecue sauce? Mm -hmm. I can't do that, girl, because. So. Kelani had a song with Tori Lanez on her album, Ooh. and apparently she's gonna release a um a deluxe album. But she's gonna is she gonna release it? She she took him off the song. She took him off the song that she had with him, and also JoJo had a song with him, and she's taking him off the song too. Mm. So the girls are the girls are going in. <laughs> mm. The girls are not having it, and I'm disgusted. And I'm more so disgusted to the people who are still um, questioning the situation and are still saying that Meg is wrong or saying that she's a snitch. And y'all are just... Whether or not Megan and her best friend or whosoever provoked the situation, girl. Okay, so it would have been right if they had an argument and Megan pulled out a gun and shot him. Would that, would that have been right? How about the people who saying that she's snitching? Let Tori shoot y'all in y'all foot and see if y'all will keep quiet. How about that? Take y'all would be, be taking bullets for and, um, and most of y'all in the comments that be talking is women. Some of y'all women don't have no compassion for for your fellow black women. Thanks. Now, I don't understand that. Where's the logic in that? I don't get that. Mm -mm. A lot of these people online are so disgusting. They are looking for clout and they're looking for attention. They always want to go against the, 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 um, the grid because they want people to notice them. Go against the what? The grid. You mean the grain? The grid. It just The grid too. They want to go against the grid, and um, because <laughs> they want to um, their comment to stand out. <laughs> Here is the grid. It's grid. You can't say grid as well. It's the rice grid. Guys, grid. <laughs> mm mm. 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 They don't want to talk up the truth. These wings are good too. It's just that it's like I'm eating something, but I'm not getting the full taste. You know? Yeah, like it's a. It's like it's like it's teasing you. It's like um diet coke or diet Pepsi. Yes. <laughs> and nobody want no damn diet Pepsi and a diet coke and a diet Mountain Dew, girl. I want the real thing. It's like diet Pepsi. It's your thing. Do what you want to do. Uh, oh, excuse me, girl. I want the real thing. Oh, but we still turn up these wings, though, girl. Let me drink some water. Mm. And darn it, because I kind of like um, Tori um, Lane's music, but what's, mm. uh, what's his song? Because I can't remember. Listen, I be hearing these rap songs, and I can't tell you who is who from who. Which song is, this, is a popular song from him? I'm sure you hear a lot of songs on him. On his last album, his last album was really good. He he actually does what Drake does a lot. Well, he sings, but he uses a lot of samples. Oh. So, but but on his last album, what he did was he got a few um artists like Chris Brown, Jagged Edge, Ashanti. Like he did a um. Okay, we're not going to talk no more about for real. No, I'm gonna give you one example. He did the um Ashanti remix of foolish right so he had her on the song but she came on the song too with a verse but a brand new verse oh okay yeah so he did that with a couple artists 
So, I actually did like his music, but now I'm definitely not supporting him. Mm. Well, the big hit song out now is, um, I thought I broke nigga said something. Uh, nah, nah. Mm -mm -mm. Money back, yo. Girl, I can't keep up with these damn rappers, girl. No, ma'am. Ivy girl, come get your man. And Mulatto came up with her album. Mm -hmm. I'm going to listen to her album because Mulatto is good. And isn't her, didn't her song go gold? She got a plaque here. The one name, what's the name? Well, us. Um, it's not the I'm the realest, trillest. Yeah. From the south. That one? I think it's that, yeah. I thought that, but to see if you can touch it. I ain't let it What's the name of that song again? From the south or something like that? No, she has another song. Let me see. Let me I don't remember that, that one because that, that song came out. Like that was her first hit. Mmm. Mmm. Um. Where is the album? I think it is Bitch from the South. Because the one that she have on the album is a remix with Sweetie and Trina. Mmm. Ooh. That's mm. the only song I know about her, though. Mmm. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's the only song I know from her. Mm. And Cash Doll says she not doing no, she not rapping no more. Did you see that new music video from um Santana? Girl, the one with him and Light Skin Keisha? Where he go like this? Uh, with Light Skin Keisha and he has on the red in the Do you think he's actually talented? You think he, he can actually rap? Material girl! Um... There's an audience for his kind of rap. He's not not talented, but he's annoying to me. I don't think he flows on the beats, but uh, I, uh, again, he's, he's way better than some of these people out here. He's doing the same thing like what the city girls do. So I guess. Girl. I guess he's doing the same thing like what the city girls do, so it's either here hey, or here. You can't knock him for doing his thing. Because ain't nothing but a chicken it, wing. It ain't a thing but a chicken wing. I say ain't nothing but a chicken wing. Does that sound like it rhyme to you? Yes. Girl. Ain't a thing but a chicken wing. If you don't go all the way over there. <laughs> mm -mm. Anyways, guys, I am on the way over here. I am filled to the brim. My cup is running over, girl. And y'all already know what time I it is. I would like to see it. Uh, what time is it, girl? Y'all already know what time it is, girl. Don't play with me. Listen, it's time for shout outs. Don't do that. Let me see who I got in here. That's what she's not going to do is play in my face, girl. No, ma'am. Shouts out to Tania. Oh, Tania girl, Tan Tan girl, girl, honey, come here, honey. Let's let's let's, 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 let's have a chat. A key shout out to the charming life. This Ooh. charming life. Sorry, girl. When I tell you my life, this life is so charming, girl. The girls are hating. When I tell you I'm the charmed one. Shout out to Libra scale. Oh, girl, Libra, when I tell you go on that scale, honey, that scale say you're snatched, honey. These are the girls, girl, that say to be continued. Yes, ma'am. Shout out to Thick and Juicy Trini Queen. Ooh, Trini Queen, when I tell you, you is thick and juicy, girl. Yes, ma'am, like a piece of chicken wing, honey. Shout out to Caitlin Lee. Ooh, Caitlin, not the Jenna girl. What is going on? Girl, honey. Do you live in Calabasas, girl? And last but not least, shouts out to Taylor Shan. Ooh, Taylor Shan Shan girl, girl. Are you on your world, Shan Shan girl? You know you have the ugliest mouth on YouTube. Uh. Girl, you the way that you shape your mouth and twist it and turn it and push it up and down, girl. Gag, honey. The ugliest mouth on YouTube. Gag, gag, honey. The ugliest mouth on YouTube. Gag, honey. Anyways, guys, um, we love and appreciate you guys so so much. Thank you for watching this video. Make yes, sure you yeah. like, subscribe, and click the notification bell. Here so you'll be notified every time we upload a new, a new video. Also, guys, if you have a business and you want promo, 
Email us at bannypromo at yahoo.com. Yes, ma'am. And we'll give you our prices. ASAP, okay? girl. Mm -hmm. Norma Key. Yes, ma'am. Do you have anything to say for yourself? And as we always say. That's what you have to say? Every day. Is another chance. To slay. Baby. So slay, sis. So slay, Miss Mama's we girl. We will see you in tomorrow's Manana. video. We love you guys que pasa so contigo, much. Dímelo. I'm the kind of brother. Love you guys. Mwah. Body twins, body twins, body 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 twins, body twins, body twins, body 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 twins, body twins, body twins, body 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 twins.